Hello friends, in this video, I'll be showing you how I managed to achieve this customized desktop on my Windows 11. Without wasting much time, we're going straight to the point. First thing you want to do is to hide the icons on your desktop. In order to do that, just right click on any space on your desktop here and go on to view, click on show desktop icons. As you can see, we don't have our icons here anymore, but not to worry, you can reverse the same process to get your icons back on your desktop. Next thing we're going to do here is to add a wallpaper on our desktop. In order to do that, right, uh, we're going to go here to our browser. I have prepared this wallpaper among other links which I'll be providing for you in the description. So feel free to download this wallpaper otherwise you can use any wallpaper of your choice. So to download that just go ahead to the green icon and just click on download there. So after downloading that we're going to go to our download folder where the file is downloaded. And here in our folder, as we can see, we have this JPG file. Just right click on it, set as desktop background. Now, if we go onto our desktop, we can see that we have this beautiful image right here. Obviously, we're not done yet, so we'll proceed to go back to our browser. And here we have all the files which we need to download for this procedure, okay? And um, one after the other, we're going to be downloading this, starting with the rain meter. So here in rainmeter.net, all we have to do is to go down here and click on this download icon here. Just click on it. After doing that, again, you want to add them back to the folder. As we can see, we have this rainmeter setup file here. Just right click on it and run as administrator. Click yes and click OK. Standard installation. Go on next. Click on install. And once it's done, just click on finish. Now, as you can see, we have our Remeter installed here and it says welcome to Remeter. Okay, first thing you want to do is to unload all the skins. Just right click on it and click on unload skin. Do the same here. Right click on it. Right click, unload skin. Right click, unload skin. After doing that, we're going to head on back to a browser. Now, we're going to go ahead to download and install these four Remeter skins. Here in github.com, we have the drop top for basic version. All you have to do is to come down here and select these. Click here to download drop top. Okay. Once you do that, um, your file obviously will be going to your download. We go to the next remeter skin, which is Monterey remeter theme. Here in visualskins.com, we have Monterey remeter theme. And to download this, you just scroll down and go to the left side of your screen here. You have this icon. Just click on this download and you're good to go. Next Remeter skin is the Cantarel. Okay, we have Cantarel here in visualskins.com as well. And just the same way, you just have to scroll down here. On the left side of your screen, you're going to find this download icon. Just click on that. And the last one here is the Modular Clock by Jax Originals. Shout out to Jax Originals. In order to download any file from deviantart.com, you have to create an account first and log in. After doing that, and all you have to do is to click on this download icon and you're good to go. After downloading all these four remeter skins, we're going to go back to our downloads folder. And as you can see here, which I've already downloaded before, we have all the skins right here. Okay. So beginning from the drop top basic, I'm going to start here. Just double click on it and just select install. After installing drop top basic, it might seem that nothing is happening. Okay. I'll just proceed to install the remaining remeter skin. Double click on that. Click on install. And next I'll go to the modular clocks. Double click on it. Click on install. Next is the Monterey remeter. Double click on it and click on install. Now we've installed all the remeter skins, but it looks like nothing is happening here. Actually, I'm going to go down here to our tax bar, select this arrow up here, click on it. As you can see this remeter icon here, just click on this remeter icon. Then you just want to go here and click on refresh all. So now we have all our skins right here. Next thing we're going to do is to take the skins from the remeter onto our desktop. Okay. And we're going to be doing it accordingly. Starting with the drop top again, I'm going to expand this drop top. I'm going to go down here again and expand the drop down bar. Click on this, highlight it, select load. Now up here, as we can see, we have this drop down bar, but this is looking too big. So I'm just going to reduce the size by right clicking on here, go on to adjust size settings, then click on 100%. Now, as you can see, the size has been reduced and it looks much better this way. We're not done yet with the drop down bar. We're just going to 
tidy this place up a little bit and um, by doing that just gonna right click on here and we have all the icons right here we're gonna remove whatever is not necessary just left click on this and toggle this off all right I don't need this so I'm just gonna left click on it and toggle it off okay I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna left click on this toggle it off left click on this toggle it off and I'm gonna do the same right here toggle it off toggle it off toggle it off and toggle it off so guys you feel free to choose whichever one you need okay all right so after doing that i'll just click on any empty space here on my desktop to close that and i will proceed to do the same right here just go on this check mark right click on it and i'm just going to toggle it off right here toggle it off here toggle this off and toggle this off i'm going to leave these three right here okay let me add something that you might experience a bit of difference during this installation process of your drop down bar okay i have made another video about drop down bar settings and um you can have a look at that video if you find it different during your installation okay after doing this drop down bar settings we're going to go on to the next one which is just core installer just go up here expand this just core and click on main.ini and go on to load uh, we get this pop-up and we also get this partial opening okay turn on y o n y for yes and for no so you're just going to tap on y on your keyboard and click on enter get started just click on this get started it says welcome to jazz core just click on continue and here you want to go ahead to click on continue as well continue proceed so here you have choose which widget you want actually all you have to do is to scroll down here a bit when you scroll down you're going to see the modular clocks right here just click on modular clocks and click on install all right now we have these options here here it says m clocks which stands for modular clocks all you have to do is just click on this first one here just click on it here modular clocks first thing you want to do is to close this change log just go right here and click on this white dot right here now again we're just going to proceed to activate this by going onto the left side of our screen and we're going to see this that says not active now you're going to proceed to toggle this on now it's active so what we can do right here is to go down here to general just click on general now we're going to choose the style we want okay you have options here here out of this 10 i'm going to pick this one just click on it and once you click on it you can see that it appears on your desktop okay and now we have the day which is monday and we have the time in words and we have the date i'm just going to minimize this first and here you can put it anywhere you want okay i'm just going to leave it right here up here on the left side of the screen now we're going to go on to the next one i'm going to open rain meter actually i'm just going to close this i'm just going to x on these uh, modular clocks and i'm going to go back and reopen this rain meter okay now we're going to go on to the next skin and this one is the monterey okay here monterey just going to expand on this here i'm just going to click on settings.ini and select load let me minimize this and drag this to the right side okay here we have the chance of choosing whatever widget you want to add onto your desktop okay so i'm going to click on widgets all these options whatever you toggle on is just going to appear on your desktop so here i'm just going to toggle on the clock as you can see here I'm drag it here and click on continue so now we have this clock right here and again i'm going to toggle on this calendar i'm going to drag it down to the right side of the screen next is um, a reminder i'm gonna put it right here next is uh, music put it right there and click on continue i want to do something with this music just gonna right click on it i'm gonna click on white i feel it's better this way now you have your play button here so i'm just gonna put it down here in the middle and that's it about that actually so i'm gonna do the same to this reminder click on it and select white Bring it down a bit. After doing that, I'll just proceed to X on this Monterey. Click on this red dot right here to close it. And mind you, um, before I do that, if you don't need any of these icons back on your desktop, all you have to do is to toggle it off. See, when I toggle off the clock, it goes away. When I toggle it back on, it's back where it's supposed to be. So um, yeah, going to do that first. So I'm just going to close it right. Next one is a Cantorel. So we're going to add them back to a rain meter. Let me minimize the Monterey 
and I'm going to expand the counter rail. I only need one widget from this counter rail, okay? And that is the visualizer. So I'm just going to expand this visualizer, highlight on it and click on load. Once I do that, you can see we have this visualizer right here on our desktop, but I don't need it to be up there. I'm just going to bring it down here. Let me minimize this. I'm just going to leave it above this music player. In order to reduce the size of this visualizer, you just have to scroll down on your mouse. As you can see, it has reduced in size. If I scroll back up, it increases the size of it. So I'm just going to make it same size with the music player as i speak you can see some movement right here same goes to your music um, whichever platform you play from that you're playing from spotify or you play from youtube you're gonna see some movement right here okay um so that's it about our visualizer i was thinking of changing the color but i think it's just perfect the way it is we're not done just yet as you can see we have our taskbar is not in accordance with our customized desktop so we're going to change this and now you're going to go on to your microsoft store here yeah, Microsoft Store, you just have to search for Rounded TV, okay? Rounded TV. Right here, just click on this. Yeah, in Rounded TV, just click on Get. Once installation is complete, you go ahead and click on this Open. Minimize this. So now we have this Welcome to Rounded TV. Click OK. Drag this setting to the middle so you can see what I'm doing. And here in the settings, just click on Advanced. First thing you want to do is to check on this Dynamic Mode. Proceed to check on this show system tree on over. Select fill tax bar when maximized. Select fill tax bar on alt plus tab. Right here, we're going to go up here. I'm going to drag this to four. I'm going to drag this up to 12. Corner radius goes to 12. Click on apply. As you can see here, um, they will have a little problem here where um, this tax bar is not in the middle where it's supposed to be. And it's just all the way to the left. Let me show you how to fix this. Just right click on your tax bar. Go to your taskbar settings. Here in your taskbar settings, just scroll down a bit and taskbar behaviors. Go to click on this arrow down. Go on here. Go to left. Take it back and click on center. Okay. After doing that, you will, you will notice that our taskbar is back to the center, right where it's supposed to be. And if you over onto the side, you're going to see the remaining part of your taskbar. I'm not going to leave it this way it is. So I'm going to proceed to close these settings first. And now we're going to go back to Microsoft Store. And this time we're going to search for Translucent TB because we're going to make the taskbar transparent. So we're going to go for Translucent TB. So here we have it. Just click on this. Select Get. Once installation is complete, just proceed to click on Open and Continue. So when I minimize this, you can see now that we have these transparent tax power. Okay. And still, when you over to the right side here, you're going to see the remaining part of your taskbar. So good thing about this music player is that let's say you're playing a video on YouTube, you can control it from here. You know, you just pause and play your YouTube music video from here. Okay. That's it about this video, guys. I hope you learned something new today. I'll be waiting for your comments at the comment section. Remember to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out when I post content like this. Also, turn on your notification. See you in the next video. Have a nice day and peace.